As an early mist lifted gently off the Tyne, it was replaced for many people along this great river with a fog of rules. The restrictions confusing people, willing to comply but uncertain. Best mates Colin and John trying to work it all out. The way that the, the rules and regulations have been brought out in a piecemeal way, it's almost on a daily basis, and it's very, very difficult to keep up with it. Many here will comply, but have their suspicions. There is, I suppose, a kind of general acceptance of the new restrictions here, but also a strong feeling that they're being targeted as some sort of social experiment with coronavirus. I'm off on a journey of about 150 miles across uh, the north of England, and I'll be ending up in Lancashire, a county facing very similar restrictions. Hi, good morning. <laughs> From the northeast, we travel across Yorkshire, heading west across a region of this country where millions are living under renewed limitations. Well, we just pulled over because while we've been uh, on the road uh, travelling through Yorkshire, we've just noticed a whole new set of lockdown rules announced uh, in West Yorkshire. So we're going to ask people here what they think about it. At the Peace Hall in Halifax, an 18th century courtyard where cloth was traded and where it is now cafes and restaurants, there is real concern among bar owners like Mark Richardson. Hand on heart, I think there'll be a few that, particularly if there was another lockdown, probably won't come back from it. Um, people like to go out and have a beer and socialise, go to live music, and I know that's taken a real hit. And among the families here, growing frustration. It's quite annoying in a way, because like I say, you can mix with certain people, you can, you can go to the pub and sit with people, but then you can't see other certain family members, friends. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just confusing. And so across into Lancashire we drove to the old industrial towns of the northwest. In Accrington, the new local lockdown surprises few but worries many. This bar owner says it's not worth staying open. It wouldn't be viable for us to stay open because we've not got enough seating area inside. It's not just a nightmare for myself, I have staff members as well, so obviously my staff are, the staff are going to lose out as well. You know, it's the stability of obviously their wage coming in every week. This virus continues to threaten the lives of some and hamper the lives of many millions more.